Hello everyone, it is Commensum and today we are here with episode 2 of the FIFA 15 player predictions and today we have got a very exciting episode from you. We've got some brilliant players coming up. Thanks for the support in the last episode. Uh, plenty of likes in it, so please drop a like on this one, subscribe for more of these and yeah, um, leave players down in the comments that you would like to see me rate next. Um, yeah, whether it be from your favourite team, from your favourite league, whoever's doing well in the World Cup, leave it down in the comments down below and I will get round to doing them eventually in future episodes. We've got four players coming up, so yeah, let's jump into that. Now, first of all, we do have the big man Yaya Toure of Man City. Although he mightn't be at Man City for too long, there are rumours of him going to PSG and Barcelona after having a few arguments with Man City. And really... The first one was over him not giving him something for his birthday or not doing enough for his birthday. And the second one was a much more realistic one where uh, Yaya's brother was dying and City would not let him off to go visit his dying brother. They would they forced him to go on a publicity tour. And yeah, it's pretty terrible stuff. I mean, it's a very valid reason to move club. So I think we could be seeing him leaving the BPL this season, which is very unfortunate. As I'd say, he's probably one of the all-round best players in the, in the league last season. Now, last season he did have an 86-rated CDM card. And I saw him playing a bit more attacking this season, so I think he'd be moved up to CM. And just all those stats moved up. He could go up from an uh, above an 87, maybe an 88 or an 89. But I think they'll only keep him at an 87. Uh, with 80 pace up from a 77, 80 dribbling up from his 79, uh, 78 shooting, you know, he scored some fantastic goals this year. I think his passing was about right, but, you know, to balance the card out a bit, and if it was to be an 87, I think they'd take it down to 83 heading. And moving on to the next player, we do have Ander Herrera, who has signed for Manchester United from Athletic Bilbao. And, you know, I think because of this big move, he will receive a slight upgrade. Although I'm not too, I haven't seen him too much this season, so I'm not sure how he's actually played. But his stats look pretty good. I think they'll bring his passing up to 65 from 64, which I thought was a bit low in the first place. I think they'll keep his pace the same, but I think they will bring his dribbling down a bit to 82 from 84. And I think they'll keep the rest of his stats mostly the same, and to balance it out a bit, you know, move the heading up to 51. So yeah, I think he will be a decent signing for United, but I don't see how he can make such a big impact after the per season last year. Now the third player we have is Aruna Kone, who of course is still at Everton. He, I don't think he's with Ivory Coast in the World Cup, but I think he will receive his downgrade because he has not played very much this season. And yeah, I think he is very OP on FIFA, so I think they'll have to bring his stats down and you know try and make him less OP next year. So I think they'll bring his pace down to 84 from 86. You know, you can't give him too much of a downgrade. Uh, his dribbling down to 76. His shooting down to 70. And his heading down to 74. So, you know, I don't like to see him receive this kind of downgrade. Because, you know, he could be a good player if he did get the game time. But, you know, he just hasn't had the chance to prove himself over this season. So, you know, you can't expect him to keep that kind of rating if he's not playing for his club. So, yeah, we'll move on to the final player. It is... Adam Lallana, who is expected to move to Liverpool any day now. And yeah, after a fantastic season, I think he will receive a big upgrade from that 78 uh, non-rare right mid card to an 81 rare cam. You know, that's definitely where he's been playing and that's where I think he is going to be playing for Liverpool next season. Kind of in and out with Coutinho, whoever uh, has better form and, you know, that kind of thing. And I think he will receive a big upgrade in his stats. His pace up to 80 from 76, you know, he is a lot quicker than 76 pace. His shooting up to 75, he has scored some fantastic goals this year. His passing up to 80, you know, he's a very, very creative midfielder and can create many chances for teams. Uh, 85 dribbling, you know, he's very good on the ball, probably one of the best in the country. Set, uh, 60 defending, you know, just because he's receiving a big upgrade. And 69 heading, you know, he has been in and around the box, even though he is a small lad. You know, I think he is a, a decent header. So yeah, if you have enjoyed uh, the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, leave your comments of who I should do in the next episode down below. And yeah, once again, leave a like and subscribe and peace.